Um, are you Rasputin poorly drawn from memory? I am Kostaltin! Oh, my bad, right. You are Kostaltin. Supreme Patriarch, first of the Bear Cult. I am the Orthodoxy. Right, right, first of the Orthodoxy, blah, blah. If I wanted to say a long list of titles, I'd be talking to Setra right now. Suffer for eternity. I'd rather not. Kostaltin, I honestly don't even know where to start on what's wrong with you. It's almost like Creative Assembly looked at everything that made Volkmar cool and thought, but what if he was cringe? Kostaltin, in the Russian version of A Christmas Carol, The Ghost of Christmas Past, shows Rasputin you to terrify him and force him to change his ways. You're such a sad Rasputin knockoff, I almost feel bad for you. Instead of advising a Russian queen providing mystical healing powers and surviving multiple assassination attempts, you can't even get a single woman from the ice court to join your faction. I don't understand why you can't just get along with Katarin. It's not like you have a shortage of enemies nearby. Even with the incredible buffs your faction provides patriarchs, your campaign is one of the hardest in the game. Would it kill you to touch some grass and not shout slurs at the females in your faction? I refuse such heresy. <sighs> I'm clearly not getting through to you, so I'm gonna phone a friend to really drive this point home. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Since I'm already giving you an existential crisis, are you absolutely sure you aren't supposed to be part of the vampire counts? You're described multiple times in the law, and I quote, as having a ghoulish appearance. Blasphemy! And why on earth do you have longer claws than Marathi? Religious fervor is no excuse for you to neglect basic hygiene. The orthodoxy forbids it! Bruh. And speaking of your religion, how does it feel to know that the god of your cult became fertilizer for Bellicor's cultivation? How will your religion stand without its foundation? Go! Go! Okay, I'm leaving. 